Welcome to Reality Fan Club, where we discuss some of our favorite cast members from a plethora of reality TV shows and networks. And today we will be discussing Maddie's Atlanta, and it includes some of the Bad Girls Club former cast members by Zeus Network. Zeus Network basically is having different reality TV cast members to come on, and some of them put together their own shows um, and their own projects. So basically, they're more independent contractors than they are assigned like they are to VH1. Christina, uh, she appeared on season nine, and y'all know she was real spicy. She's a Puerto Rican, and she would have like various fights with Julie. I don't know why, but her and Julie never got along. So they ended up fighting multiple times, uh, I guess because she was pretty much out on her own. And, you know, Julie and Fallon and Rima, they all were cool at one point of time until Julie and Rima fell out. But Christina ended up fighting with Julie multiple times. Uh, one time she ended up fighting Julie in the house and Fallon jumped in. So she ended up fighting Fallon. And she also fought Rima uh, in Mexico and Ashley as well. Once they um they had an episode where they let the girls come back and after they had already sent them home before and they pretty much picked out different girls that they had beefs with and stuff like that. So next we have Seven and y'all know uh Seven she is featured on YouTube. She has a YouTube and she also was on season seventeen of Bad Girls Club. First with DDG, he has a group that he put together which includes seven she ended up having a fight with brianna and kiana individually and collectively with another girl she was uh beefing with one of the other members of ddg's group people know her to fight on bad girls club and so at first because she got into it with the girl named brianna and kiana i was thinking to myself that maybe she just don't get along with people with the last two letters in a but clearly she does because there's a video of her and christina and she said that christina is actually her favorite yeah i just met the voodoo queen for the first time she's actually really nice that i've never met judy and i honestly was nervous because she's crazy no she was talking to you like she yeah never met she did yeah she came up like we've met already she was very nice they always ask me who's your favorite dad Yeah, Megan, everybody knows Megan James. She's one of the most popular Bad Girls Club members. And she has fought Rima. I don't know where her beef was with Rima. They could not stand each other. And she also fought Rima and Fallon as well when Fallon tried to jump in. So I don't know if that's like a trend or what's going on, but that has happened to Fallon twice. She much wasn't even really fighting back against Megan. He ended up getting beat up nonetheless for getting in the way whether she was trying to help her or not which she proclaimed that she was not um megan also ended up fighting blondie which i know is ashley and that was when they let the girls come back from that episode as well they're fighting fallon again at the reunion and uh i believe rima after she posted some stuff on the stage and stuff that was a wild reunion so i'm sure y'all remember that if y'all follow bad girls club now we have Natalie Nunn, which self-coined herself as the Queen of L.A. Y'all know her famous slogan, I Run L.A. And she has been on Bad Girls Club, Bad Girls Club All-Star Battle, a Celebrity Big Brother, where they paid her over $130,000 to even appear on The Big Brother. Um, she's been on Bridezilla's, Marriage Boot Camp, Love Games, The Tea Party. Um, Natalie, I would have to put in the top three most successful bad girls y'all know she ended up having some altercations with red uh she ended up fighting with the girl portia from season 13 from talking about her daughter and then she had to fight with jada her and camilla of course couldn't stand each other she always used to say camilla wanted to be her uh nastasia she ended up getting into it with her as well as flo so she's had her share of uh altercations 
Next, we have Tanisha, which y'all know went on to end up not only being on Bad Girls Club Season 2, but she ended up hosting the show. She also got her own spinoff show, which was Tanisha Gets Married, was on Marriage Boot Camp as well, Girlfriend Intervention, and Celebrity Fit Club. Now, as far as Tanisha goes, Tanisha argued with a few people. You know, she near got in a physical altercation with Darlene, and she ended up arguing with Adrian and uh, Cardelia. I don't know what Adrian issue was with Tanisha at the Bad Girls Club reunion at time. She was pretty much trying to call Tanisha out while she was trying to fight Tanisha. I don't know because maybe she was the host and she felt like she would have got a whole lot of notoriety for it. But either way, um, they ended up getting her off the stage and I don't even think they let her come back. Uh, Tanisha is one of the top three as well as far as making success from that show. <laughs> hey, but who saw Icy though? Me, that's who. <laughs> hey, but who saw Icy though? Me, that's who. Uh, Sarah, you know, Sarah Oliver, she was on season 11 and she ended up getting into it with Rocky, um, Jasmine, Tiana, Milan, Gigi, Alicia. Like, Sarah stayed fighting with people. Ended up getting her hair snatched out because y'all know that's her real hair. I don't know about now, but maybe she have a couple clippings. But at that time, she got some of her hair snatched out. So, what I want to know is who? The world. Whose ass is bigger? You better suck it in to know. <laughs> Next, we have Judy. And y'all know Judy, she had some alcohol issues in the past, as we've seen on season seven of Bad Girls Club, where she would get drunk and just act a fool. So she ended up, uh, after getting juiced up by Nastasia, Nastasia used to always pretty much take up for Judy. And it's the one that actually told Judy to start taking up for herself. So she ended up getting into it with Priscilla and Tasha and, um... I don't know why they ended up trying to jump Judy, but that made no sense to me, um, knowing that the girl be drunk half of the time. But, you know, her being drunk and just outlandish crying on impact and different stuff like that made her step out. So uh, Judy has been one of the um, favorites of Bad Girls Club. Then next we have Sydney Starr. Uh, Y'all know Sydney Starr. She was uh, working with Rich Dollars on Love & Hip Hop. And she was trying to do her music and stuff like that. She's actually uh, tried out for Bad Girls Club at least seven to eight times. And she finally was called to be a season nine replacement. Um, and they ended up not being able to get in touch with her due to her maybe changing her number or whatever went on with her information at the time. So she ended up never making it on, even though, you know, they had placed her on. Uh, and it happened twice, however. But um, she also was on um, botched. And uh, she hasn't had any physical altercations with anybody on any of the shows that I have seen. Uh, she did have some words with Nia Lee based on her appearance at that time, how she was dressing and stuff. Uh, Nia Lee felt like she could dress better. And so they had arguments over that, which was very petty. But um, I did see something, I don't know, was it on Instagram maybe, uh, about Mariah Lynn. She was pretty much... Um, had some choice words for Judy and because Judy I guess I don't know if she's gonna end up getting into it with Sydney Star. I don't know why Judy always end up getting into it with people um that most people maybe pick on when it one once upon a time you know they was picking on her but Judy gets drunk and she pretty much hangs in the most popular group or whatever floats her boat at that time who's ever pretty much in her circle at that time so we'll see how that plays out and last but not least, we have Janelle. And y'all know she was the tall girl. They ended up jumping her or whatever because she felt like and said that she was the prettiest person in the house. And she would always say different things like that. So she ended up fighting with Gigi. Uh, Teresa and the other girls ended up jumping in and stuff. So I, they pretty much tried to do everything to get her out of the house, which they did end up getting her out of the house. But she did... Uh, stand up to them until the last moment. To, I guess she couldn't handle the pressure any longer, but uh, she handled it pretty well while she was in there, so we'll see how things play out with her. You know, they did have a show 
it was the conversation which was with the bad girls club um it had christina on there natalie nunn jada sarah and rocky and uh it only ended up being natalie christina and sarah to be chosen for this baddies atlanta show now what they was discussing on the conversation was pretty much about their only fans that they had started and the production that went into it and who paid for this who paid for that. it wasn't really anything dealing with this show um but i think that this was in the making at that time so um why they didn't end up picking jada to be on the show on baddies atlanta i believe based off of the conversation show is uh she was allegedly doing cocaine in the house they did found some cocaine in the bathroom or somewhere and they were saying that it belonged to jada allegedly so i think that's one of the reasons why she was not going to be picked to be on this show uh shannon her energy and stuff just does not match theirs that wasn't gonna work um and as far as rocky go i don't know why they chose not to have her on the show either maybe something went on with her at the conversation as well where she just didn't make the cut for this show i was thinking to myself were they gonna be more modest classy and try to get along but they did drop a video today that i seen on instagram where they had tanisha um and sydney look like they were having words with each other and i don't know why but uh everybody was pretty much saying that sydney star um is up natalie's butt i have seen a lot uh pictures with natalie and sydney on her instagram of course that's going to be a way for sydney to pretty much come into the game under who else other than natalie nunn but natalie nunn is very extra so if you're gonna follow her you gotta be ready for pretty much what comes with all of this so because uh, we know tanisha she don't play no games i'm pretty sure she probably packs a mean punch in her weight class so uh we'll see how that plays out but that was about it as far as the review for the baddies atlanta teaser trailer and i will keep you all updated on any information that's coming out new they are shooting right now so i don't know when they will be done and how soon it will be before the show goes up y'all know if y'all had watched one more chance uh they kind of spread stuff out then we've been waiting on jocelyn cabaret for a while and they have a whole full lineup of shows even one with saucy santana coming up so they have a whole lot of production going on so hopefully some of these shows will start dropping soon enough and i will keep y'all caught up on reality fan club click the like button and subscribe